record. All right. So here it goes again, right? So I have my object in here, A, T, T, D, E, L, attribute delete, select it, go here. The main one we want is uh, vertices, but we'll just do star for everything. I mean, not vertices, we want UV, which would be in this, so UV, but we'll just do star, I mean, shift eight to make a star, tab, shift eight, shift eight, Shift eight, cool. Um, now we're gonna click on this. We can double click or we can go click on this or press nine. And then we can go to um, 3D connectivity. And this will choose the whole thing. So click on this tab and do group, create group. I think somebody else just joined. All right, create group. Um, remember, we can do dollar OS. Wall group, right? Sit on this, shift, holding down shift, tab. I mean, it's a typed in sidewalk. All right. Uh, group create. Uh, dollar OS. Sidewalk group. It's right here. Click, 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 click. Tab. Group create. So remember, I could type it in there. Uh oh, that dash underscore. And in this tab, create. And I can do dollar, capital O and S, and then. Damn, once again, I don't know what it is. Um, you can go file. Um, UV, uh, no, it's not project, it's uh, unwrap. That's what I want. Unwrap, left click. Um, let's just do curbs, right? Split this, space five. I mean, space one, space five. You view on wrap curves, tab, UV, or layout. Okay. So we're in the UV layout. We're going to group. Let's do uh, curbs, right? Fixed, UDEM, scale it out. Then go to find scaling right here. Too much, perfect. Okay. UV, unwrap. Select this. Go to the next group, which is floor. Oh, and you know what to also do with this one? Just do it. UV layout tab, UV transform. I'll send it up two flights of stairs. Yeah. All right. So UV unwrap. The next one was floor. UV layout. Right here, floor, select, UDEM, 
fixed. It's fine. You need you transform. Let's send it up one group. Didn't specify the group though, right? Floor. All right. And as you can see, it looks like uh, every one of these, C, green. So that's for that. You know what I'm saying? So they all got their own like three sets of nodes. All right. You can wrap. Sidewalk. UV, UV layout. Sidewalk. It's rotating. Don't like that at all. Oh, now it's back to normal. I'm loving it again. I'll go over here. UV. Um, let's scale this out. Let's say I want to. Uh, trying to just get two on every tile, but that's three. Ah, yeah, see those little fine adjustments with this? Now I got two, which is exactly what I wanted. I just want two tiles. I didn't want them to be like three or mismatch or something. Perfect. UV, transform. Um, I think I'm up to two. So let me just go to like, what, three, right? Uh, moved everything, which is what we don't want. We just want the sidewalk. So we have all these and I'll leave the last one. UV, unwrap. Not that one. Y, left click, cut that. Uh, wall. UV layout. So with this, the rotated, don't like that. Oh, no, no, wait, I didn't choose uh, the wall. Ah, yeah, see? And we gotta go fixed. Udem, scale this out. Too much, too much. Perfect, we got all our tiles laid out. Right click, UV quick, shade. Left click, We're looking at this. It's looking amazing, except for, I guess that one's amazing. It's just upside down, but that's fine as long as the numbers aren't backwards. So when they're backwards, that's not a good sign. Okay, so we have this, right click, no. Select this. Oops. Wall, geo, there's some craziness on the end. Now, Click, right click, um, save geometry, click on this, OBJ, click this right here, I'll go to desktop, let's make it what we had before, ah, let's name it something new, who cares, um, wall geo to sub, accept, Except, okay, now I'm starting substance. Now, hopefully, now tell me if you all can see substance. Can you all see Substance Painter? Yes. 
I'm sorry, you sounded kind of low. What was that? Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. Cool. All right, file new. Uh, select. Uh, wall geo to sub. Use UV tile. This is on. Cool. All right, now we're in here. Perfect. We have all these. Like, just add some stuff real quick. Oh, it adds it to everything, remember? Because we have the layer thing. We'll just go here. Go to this 2D, 3D, 2D. Okay. Now, this, what I found, is if you hold down Control and highlight everything else, and then, then just this gets created. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to throw in some stuff real fast. Uh, let's say for this floor, I'm going to give it some lizard scales. Ooh, maybe for the sidewalk. Yeah, I think I'll keep that on the sidewalk. So since I'm doing that, I select this, hold down control, deselect that because I want my lizard scales on the sidewalk. Um, leather bag. I want some leather bag for the curbs, right? So I'll select this. And same thing, I'll select this right here. Deselect these, deselect all of these. Leather on the curb. And we just have the ground over here. Let's do, um, yeah, let's do the mortar wall, I guess. All right, cool, select this. Uh, that's the ground. I love this, so easy to control click off of everything else. Now we get on the ground, click back on here. Now we're back to normal. Now I can drop a rust on everything. So we have this rust right here and I'm gonna go here, do a smart mask and let's do a Paint old, right? Go mask editor. here. So this true and false, it just kind of like reverses the pattern. Like if you look right here, so you can see which one is giving you more or less of what you want. Um, level balance. Uh, I don't like this mask. I'll be honest, I don't like it. Let me delete that. Just need something else. Um, dry dirt. I don't know why they didn't have any dirt spots. Uh, what's going on? Oh, you know what happened? I deleted the um, the rust. That's what happened. The rest course, Let's see what this does. All right, smart mask. Let's just do something quick. Um, let's do the scratched edges just to do it. Um, edge metalware. Oh, there's nothing subtle about this one. Okay, so we have this right here, and just because I'm just gonna do one little thing, and that's uh, add a paint. Increase his brush, give me a nice brush, brushes. this large but then I'll go over here to this and deselect not everything just certain parts just to do it I don't like anything if it's too uniform 
Okay, cool. We have this. Uh, let's make it just a little darker so I can see it a little better. Okay, cool. So we got our snakeskin. Oh, yeah, we got to do this. Big mesh maps. This will affect the look. That's why it didn't look too good. I, now that I think about it, it's going to look different because now that we're doing the baking. See, yeah, it's going to look way different. So remember, all these generators and all that stuff won't work as nicely if... um. If you have that on. Okay, so let me just do this real fast. And I'm going to export this stuff out of substance and bring it into Houdini. And that's what I'll show you now. So, all right, so I have this. I'm loving it. It's all good. Um, now let me do this. I'm going to now, um, it's a little bit more. I like that. Now let's export these textures. Oh, and one other thing, just to show you very fast. Um, something about bump. So if I, I go right here, this is my fill layer. And if I just take off this, well, I'll keep on height. I'll take off rough and metal. So height and normal, I'm gonna keep on. So I have a fill layer right here. Uh, if I right click, add black mask, well, actually, you know what I can do just for the sake of it? I can add a color. So I'll add black mask. What I'll do is I'll just get this regular pen right here and I'll go like this. All right. Let me do something cool. All right. So I have this wheel on here and I have it with this mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the height and I'm going to raise it up. All right. So I raise the height. This is recess, recessing it. So pushing it down. And this is raising it. All right. So I like just raise the height on this. Go down shift and right click so you can see what it's kind of doing. And now if I click on this and whatever I paint, it's kind of like raised. You see? And so what I can do is if I go in here and I disable the color, it's just kind of like raise that up. And that'll actually work for all this stuff. So if I take the say dirt spots and kind of like raise this as well. And I can have these on different layers. So this is just this one right here. But if I want to make another one just for dirt and another one for, I don't know, cracks or something like that, it's all about the brush. All right. And of course, if you want to clear it, we can just clear it or we can copy this or we can duplicate this whole thing over again. So duplicate layers and then I can, uh, yeah, so that's a duplicate. Then I can like hide this one and I can clear this one. And then, you know, do that all over again. So it's all on you. So you anyway, just saying that's something you can do. All right, and just because let's go back here and clear this. And then just paint some dirt on the ground. I'm just doing it real big just to show you that it is an effect and using some different uh, brushes. Yeah, and then we can do emblems too. So all these things you can do. Leaves is pretty cool. All right, so let's say we want to take this out now and put it into Maya. Look, it's going to look real good on the curves just because the resolution is so nice. I mean, not my uh, Houdini, all right? So we have this. We're going to go to File, 
Um, export textures. Now this is very important right here. We're gonna go to outplay templates and we're gonna go down to PBR metal metallic roughness. So this one right here. Now what we're gonna do is this is the default one. We're gonna make our own. So I'm gonna go to click on um, this right here, this copy. And so it has a PBR metallic roughness, roughness copy. I'm gonna double click on this. Roughness. Houdini, right? We put on two eyes just because I want to. Um, so this is right here. I'm not sure what you all say says, but um, for this, yeah, I'm really actually, because so I think I mess with this a lot, so I'm not sure what uh, the default is 100%. I'd have to look somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep with this right here. If yours doesn't have UDIM on the end, what you do is you like select this and you can just click here and it'll add it. But that's important for it to say UDIM on the end. Okay, so if we have this right here, it's called PBR Metallic Roughness Houdini. And I put it with two eyes, just, just in case I have it here somewhere else, just one eye. Um, I can keep it like this, but I kind of like using EXR. So I'm just going to put this on EXR. 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 EXR and EXR, right? So this is called PBR Metallic Roughness Houdini, two eyes. So I want to go here and change this to the one I just made with Houdini, right? Two eyes, right? PBR Metallic Roughness Houdini. And I'll just click on this and I'll make this, I think it should go in as EXR, but I'm just doing this just to make sure. EXR. And right here is where I choose where to put it. So I'll click on this, I'll go to my, uh, this folder right here that I made before. Come on. All right, so I'm gonna put a new folder in here and I'm gonna name this, um, uh, let's just name it H-O-U, I mean, um, wall, to, I don't know, Wall to Houdini. I don't know. I'm just writing something. All right. So, uh, Wall to Houdini. I'm double clicking. Where is it at? Wall to Houdini. So, I just double click to go inside. And then it has this right here. And I'm going to click on select folder. All right. So, now if I go over here to output templates and list of exports, it's saying this is what it's going to do, right? It says wall geo to sub. So it gave it that name, the material base color. And this is what's important, the 1023, because that's the UDEM tile. So I'll click on export. And what it's going to do is it's going to go to that folder. And all of these are, uh, if I do open output directory, we have those uh, files that it wrote, these EXRs. So now I'm going to stop this. No. Now I'm back inside of Houdini. Can you all see my Houdini? Yes. OK, perfect. Perfect. So now let me go back here to this single view. Press spacebar one or go here to perspective. Now we see this. Now I'm going to add these materials. Now remember, right now we're in uh, the object mode or object land, the land of objects. And now we're going to go to the land of uh, 
or the world or whatever you want to call it, your land and world of materials. So I'm going to click on this material. I mean, this right here. So I'm left clicking. So look, objects, left click, materials. So I'm going to right click and type in P R I N C principled shader, right? This is what we want. It's right here. And just to make it a little bit bigger, oh, and just to show you how this works, this is kind of like uh, an Arnold material, let's say, because we have base color right here. Um, IOR, we have roughness, uh, metallic. And I'll go into all these, I guess, later when we go into it. But right now, if I right click and I do file, no, that's not right. Uh, texture. Texture, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have texture. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, right here, this is the color, and I'm going to take it to the base color. Now, here's what you have to do. You have to select this, click on this right here, and now I'm going to go to that folder. Uh, it was like E, uh, combi, Wall to Houdini, all right? And because this is the color, the diffuse color, I'm going to go to well, base color, click on this. And now this came in like this, right? Now, the thing that you have to change on this to get all the textures to hook up, because remember, all those tiles, all of these tiles have a, a diffuse right so they all have a diffuse color then they all have a metallic then they all have something else right so each one of them has a bunch of those the whole point of this udem tile is so if i select one and apply it to one it's going to put that over each one of these to the uh corresponding udem right so what i'm going to do is i have the default base color material in there but it's only going to go to one uh tile. So what I have to do is take off this dollar F and type in percentage parentheses and inside the parentheses I type in U D I M and then after that it's dot lowercase D and then enter. And then it's in there. I can't see it right now. Uh, two reasons why. Let me left click on this, go back into our object world. I'm gonna double click on this. I don't think we'll be able to see it in the viewport, but I'm just gonna disable this. So left click on this just to show you. And uh, I can add a material in two different ways. I can right click and add M A T E material. All right. And I can put this here. And then I can go to material right here, click on this, and I can go all the way to our material world, remember, and go to principal shader. I could have gave it a better name, and then I'd be able to see it, but you can't see it yet, right? We have to add a light. So let's add a light really quick. I'm going to go into lighting too, but uh, right now, let's just do it really quick for this lesson. I'll Click on this environment light. So this is like a HD, uh, this is like, wait, not HD. Yeah, HDRI uh, Sky Dome in Maya. It just doesn't look like a Sky Dome. And here's the node right here. Remember, because we're in uh, object land, right? So in our object land, we also have lights. And here's our Sky Dome light. So we can't see anything. And um, we just teach you, I'll go into this more on like Monday, the lighting, but. Um, just really quickly, if I click on this render view right here. There is no class Monday. Oh, there isn't? No. Oh. School closed. What is what is Monday? President's Day. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they sent out an email about it saying that we have no school. Mm -hmm. Hey, three day weekend. Mm-hmm extra day to do some Houdini, you know? Yeah. You excited? 
Locally. Eh, whatever. I love it, so I'm excited. I'll be working. Um. Oh yeah. So there's no camera or anything. Let's just. Uh, oh, before we do that, uh, well, you know, let's just press render. So I got here by going over here to render view. Let's click on render, left click, and see what happens. Okay, so it's giving us a default light. Um, to give us a better light, let's click on this. And this is kind of like uh, Arnold render view, but just a little bit different. So I'll press stop right here because if I mess with stuff, it'll just keep on going. So this is like the play button, play is render, and then stop is stop. So let's go here and I'm gonna click on this and uh, you all should have this folder, right? It should say Houdini pick HDRI. We click on this and it comes with like three default HDRIs. So let's click on this, uh, this noon one. Press render, let's see what we see. And if I click on render light geometry, it'll kind of show us the environment that it's in. All right, let's take it down a little bit. Okay, cool. So let me go back to this view and I'm just gonna delete this where I'll just shake it off. And I'll go to this right here and I'll add my material here. So we can add our material to different parts. We had different uh, objects, but um, I'm gonna add it here and see if this makes a difference. If I've missed something, of course, I'll figure it out. Uh, I don't think I did, but let's go back here to the render view, press render. I very well could have. Yeah, there's some way I put in the texture on. So let me find this out. Let me go back over here, out, not out. Um, material, select this. D. Maybe it's not dot D. That could be it. Let's see render. Ah, that's what it was, right? I put in dot D. I meant to say just D. But we see it's showing up now, right? Perfect. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna do right click, texture, click on this now, go to that folder I was at before, or you know what I could do? This should work. I should be able to just copy this. I'm going to just copy this right here. So pretend, percentage sign uh, parentheses with UDEM in capital letters and then D. Control C. I'll click on this. And I'll click on this. And now I'll go to, um, let's go down the list, uh, roughness. All right, so roughness, I take off this dollar F, control V, control V. Oh, come on, you're not letting me control V? Uh, all right, percentage, parentheses, U, D, I, M, with the lowercase D on the end, enter. This right here, color, goes into roughness. 
right? So we have a uh, color. I mean, color um, roughness. Copied it. I just holding down Alt. I mean, yeah, Alt and left click. So roughness. Um, we have metallic. Select this. Go right here. Go to metallic. Dollar sign. I mean, not dollar sign. Percentage. Percentage brackets. U D I M D enter. Let's go to metallic. So you see what's happening here. Um, now to get that bumpy stuff, we go to right click. Well, I'll just copy this again and let's go to normal. I'm not sweating the spelling. I'm trying to beat the clock now. Uh, normal, right here. Same thing. Uh, percentage. U D I M, and then a D at the end. Enter. And for normal, it's a little bit different. I'm pressing C to get this too. Just so you know. Um, I click on this, and. We go to bump and normals. Oh, actually, I get it from here instead of getting it from there. But if I select this and I click on this, control C, I'll just get this path and delete this. So I select on this and I basically go here and I go to, well, I'll just do it here. Let's go to normal. It says normal right here. And remember, uh, Percentage, U D I M, D, enter. And there's another way to put in bump, but uh, let me just, I'll keep this, I'll press snapshot and I'll do this render right here, just so we can see the difference. Yeah, so starting to come alive. 